Pekes from China. It's time for some Nintendo power. No, it's time for some fake power. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer, I'm Collector, welcome back to a new video, and I'm here with my buddy, Wild Child again. It has been a long time, and today we're going to make a review about the SNES Mini Clone Fake Console, because the Chinese people have been naughty. They done it again. Yup, they made a clone console of the, yeah, the USA version, a one one copy, and they trying to trick us, so let's check out what they're going to give us. So that is the question, what comes inside the box? It comes with the two controllers, the console itself, and it comes with the power supply, just like the original USA version. The European version doesn't come with the power supply. Also has the European connector in it, because it was sent to the Netherlands. Here is the manual, and it doesn't uh, have the poster, that's a shame. It's that's a little bit of a giveaway, that you can yeah, notice that it's, it's only fake printed one. one side. So the so. fake one doesn't have the folder inside or the yeah. poster. And the HDMI cable even got, yeah, I don't even see it at the camera because of the lining, but you can see that the it there. got even HDMI and Nintendo decals on it. So. so they are very naughty. And for the first comparison uh, and the first giveaway, this is the original one, this is the fake one, and you're already seeing it here at the fake controller ports. The original one got more depth to it. Indeed. And here you see them uh, side by side uh, from above. Yeah, the, yeah, as you can see here, the decals are a little bit more uh, white than on the original one. Yeah, that's funny. And this is the fake one, that is the original yeah, one. Yeah, indeed. You expect that this is the original one, but it's not. And yeah, the Nintendo decal is a little bit pronounced on the original one. I hope you can see it on camera. And it is a little bit faded on the fake one. And the Super Nintendo decal, yeah, not much of a difference. And you already noticed something at the back. Yeah, the decals here are a little bit sharper on the original one. Then on the, this is the fake one. And for the last part and the difference, yeah, this is the fake one, wasn't it? Yes. The de yeah, the it's a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. And the sticker, is the sticker different? Yeah, a little bit different. Smaller and yeah, the, the barcode is totally different. I think that all the fake ones have the same barcode. And that's one thing that's for sure. I don't know if it's readable. So uh, no. if you got the SNES Mini with the barcode of this one, you've got a fake. <laughs> And here you see the controllers. This is the fake one and this is the original one. Not much of a difference. The colors are exactly the same. And the bottom response? How are you? Yeah. Exactly the same. So maybe there are maybe original. Maybe there are original Nintendo products. No. I think not. The D pad is also a little bit more loose on the fake one than on the original. It's a little oh, bit more stiff. So I don't expect that this control is as good as the original. So now we're going to do a little bit of a weight test. We're going to do the weight of the SNES Mini Clone System, an original one. Let's put on the original one. What is the weight of the... 190. Ooh. And now, test out the fake China power. 168. That is what we call really fake power. It's dropping down. <laughs> Already. <laughs> and we are back and yeah, powered on the system and the menu itself looks like Almost the original one. Identical. A high resolution output. Wow. Did they learn from the mistake? Are there any typos? So far not. Hey, it even got the package of Star Fox 2. Oh and these are the ghosts. Oh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshil Island. Yoshil Island. Yoshil. It's missing the S, that's a shame. Ah. There is one typo in it. Hmm. Is it working? Did it, did it? 
What the fuck is this? Check the freaking leg! I got, what the what the What the f yeah. This game is freaking yeah. on It's doing his move kick. Hey I indeed do. indeed I got the <laughs> I got the seven second delay or something like yeah. that. <laughs> oh my gee. Those Chinese always try to fuck something up. Yeah you can you can see a load state pops up when you press down. Yeah. But there's no option to make four save states like in the original one. So, so I don't know how it works. It saves automatically when you quit, but you cannot make a save state when you want. So that's even worse than the NES clone we had, because that one could at least make four save states. All right, Star Fox 2. Normally you cannot play Star Fox 2 because you first need to play Star Fox 1. Yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised that it loads up. And it's laggy as hell. Because this game doesn't run very well on RetroArch and most emulators, and yeah, it runs on an emulator that doesn't support Star Fox 2. Oh my god. There are some other games I tested out that runs well, but a lot of games as you see are, uh, yeah. Just horrible. Oh well, yeah. Let's try Mario Kart. Okay, one last game, Mario Kart. Yeah, my favorite game. Yeah. Let's play one race. Yeah, this game will see yeah, just that one's fine. Oh yeah, monkey, come here! Oh, I got a little treat for you. <laughs> yeah, this game was a lot better than the first two we played. Yup, no lagging. So totally no lag, yeah. I'm not used to 100 cc, but okay. No, Josie, don't want your freaking egg. Fuck off. Stupid dinosaur. Come on, I got a little treat for you. It has a little bit lag. A little bit. If you press the jump button, there is some delay. Oh my god, you have to be shitting me. Oh, indeed, I didn't try that before. Go away, dinosaur Josie. Fuck off. Yeah. Can you explain something with me? Why are they dropping eggs and... Or did I miss out something? Where are the bananas? That is not original. Or did I miss out something? All right. I win! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Michael Jackson move. <laughs> Woohoo! Who's bad? <laughs> so for the final conclusion, um, my personal opinion, if you see this and you're thinking, uh, I want to buy a kind of an original, I'm doing the, huh? Uh, I can tell you already, don't avoid of all time. Horrible piece of hardware. And, don't you agree? It's even worse than the NES version. You cannot make save states, or maybe it's possible, but I don't know how. And yeah, as you saw, the games have a lot of glitches, and I even think that Mario Kart is an, uh, a hacked version. And yeah, what's good about the system? The system itself looks 99% identical. Uh, you can use it for uh, decoration. For decoration, it's. And uh, the controllers. You can use the controller of the original system. Yeah, they work so on the original. I tested it out. So, and they are not that bad. The D pad isn't as good as the original one, but no, they are not that bad quality as most clone controllers. Well, I've, the last price when making this video was around 50. Dollars, if I'm correct. 50, 60 dollars. 50, 60 euros. Way still too much. way too much. If you can pay around 30 dollars, yeah, that's good because you have a piece of decoration, a nice box, and a good controllers for uh, the original system. And the HDMI output is very nice. The colors are crystal clear. A lot better than the previous NES clone. But one thing is for sure, but if you want the original stuff, just buy the original Nintendo. Yeah, pay, pay just uh, 40 bucks more, and for 100 dollars, you can buy the original one. So. 
it's a lot better than this one. And you can also hack it with Hachi and that um, kind of stuff put indeed. 200 games on it. So, so yeah. it's not possible with this one if you want to know. So yeah, people, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome wicked content. And uh, in this case, don't uh, game on with this piece of crap. Bye bye! Indeed. Hi fellow YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and uh, you also can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, don't give a shit about Twitter. But Instagram, I uh, make pretty pictures and I send uh, on Instagram. So yeah, follow me.